Now, one of the things that I just showed here was the library. So when I hop in there, I can see my content library. I'm actually going to switch back to the desktop for a second. And I have the same thing up here. Now, there's a link library that you can actually do. So these here are just the samples that come with it, but I have a couple of other ones a little bit further down here. Those ones that are a little bit more intricate or have different names and not showing, in some cases, all the, uh, the detail, those are ones that I've actually con uh, converted. So I mentioned before the PowerPoint, one of the things that I can actually do, currently through a plugin for Revit 2015, don't have to even have any files open. Let's go to Add-ins, Format 360, and one of the things that I can actually do here is convert both Revit families or SketchUp fam uh, files into Forma 360 content. Now what this enables me to do is save that, and I can either save it locally to my machine or to the cloud so it's accessible to other people as well as myself. And then I can actually pull them in to the actual uh, Forma project. I can place them where I feel I need to, use them how I want, and I can actually use that process to convert SketchUp content into Revit content. <coughs> and I can give it the category of the element that I want it to actually be. All of that is completely free. So that allows me to save that content and convert it so I can use it right here. So again, one of the things with Format is the ability to very quickly and very easily model just about anything. And it doesn't have to be boxy sheets. I did something like that here pretty quickly. but. I can very easily start off with more organic shapes. And then from there, start pushing and pulling different pieces, modifying that, scaling that. And I can also add and remove and essentially loft different pieces of information. So it has a lot of flexibility. And then from there, run my analysis, import images if I want to model off of a 2D drawing or something import models from other files or export out as different things. And every time that I save my file, it's now going to save it for me and I'll have access to that for Revit. So notice it's now saying, saving that RVT to my A360 drive. That's something that I can just open up directly inside of Revit. Don't have to convert it, don't have to do anything crazy. That's just there for me now and then I can start working right off of it. 